All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my September 2014 update video for, you guessed it, September 2014. Woo. So yeah, I'm just making this video as always to let you guys know about some YouTube updates as well as uh, some personal life updates as well. So i um, got my notes here on the side, and uh, with that said, here we go. So yeah, uh, as far as YouTube updates go, I'm still currently on hiatus. Uh, but I am looking to get back into uh, making more videos as uh, I get more free time, which uh, should be coming up here in a little bit. So I'm hoping to, you know, roll back into making videos a bit more regularly uh, near the end of September, leading into October. So that's, that's not to say I'm not going to make videos, period. It's just saying that I'm not going to be making as many videos or videos on a regular basis. So um, there's that, you know, how, uh, you know, how life is likes to uh, put a damper on things sometimes, so um, it is what it is. Um, but that's just a little update on that. And uh, I'm also going to be recording uh, some stuff after I get done with uh, this video here. So uh, I'll just filter those out throughout the next couple weeks as well. So look forward to that. Um, and as always, I'm still looking for uh, some good creative ideas to uh, get things going again. It's a little harsh. Let's uh, let's get some nice canned coffee here, shall we? This is uh, Georgia European. Here it is. There's the logo. It's a Georgia European canned coffee. One of uh, Japan's many canned coffees. And uh, I might do a video about it sometime. Who knows? What do you think? <laughs> but <clears throat> as I was saying, you know, I'm still looking for uh, some new creative ideas to uh, kind of get myself back into the groove of making videos again because you know I feel like I've kind of started burning out a lot of uh, you know I don't want to be another one of those guys that talks about the same stuff about Japan all the time so um, that's not to say I won't it's just that you know I'm trying to look for uh, different angles and you know new creative ideas and things like that so you know if you got something you guys want to see or want to hear me talk about you know feel free to as always do something in the comments below, or uh, send me a personal message. And uh, I always read the comments, and I always read the personal messages, so, yeah. <laughs> and uh, next on the list, speaking of uh, youtube -y stuff, of the YouTube Summer Gathering, which was uh, yesterday, um, in Roppongi. So, um, it was a lot of fun seeing everybody and catching up with uh, some people I've known and met through YouTube, as well as uh, meeting some new faces. and meeting people in person for the first time. You know, I met um, Eric Surf 6 for the first time yesterday, so that was a lot of fun. I met uh, Rachel and June from the Rachel and June channel for the first time. And I met Grace from Texan in Tokyo. I was really excited about meeting her for the first time. You know, she's an excellent blogger. She's shifting more into the, uh, the video side of things on YouTube. So I'm really excited to uh, see more stuff coming from her, as well as her uh, new book, My Japanese Husband Thinks I'm Crazy, which got over, I think, over $15,000 on Kickstarter to fund, so holy crap. And of course, I was one of the guys that helped fund it as well, so, you know, I'm not bragging, but, you know. <laughs> so, I uh, can't wait to see the book come out and uh, stuff like that, so, really excited. But, um, just because of uh, where the location was held for the uh, the YouTube summer gathering, it did it wasn't very conducive to uh, conversation. So it was just basically like a small little bar in Rapungi, and it was full of a bunch of you know loud gaijin stuff like that, you know, talking about YouTube stuff. So I couldn't really talk much, you know, I couldn't really sit down and really catch up with people, you know, beyond you know shouting across the bar, "Hey, I watch your channel." I'm not a stalker, don't judge me. <laughs> Stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but it was still good seeing people and catching up from what I could do. Stuff like that. I just hope that maybe there'd be a more uh, quiet, intimate gathering so that way it's not so freaking loud and stuff. But, eh, it's just me. It's not my scene. So. <laughs> um, anywho, moving on to uh, personal updates. After I finish this coffee. Ah, good stuff. <clears throat> good stuff. Okay, so uh, personal updates. Um, just to let you guys know, I am feeling better. 
my depression is on the decline, so that's good. So my mood, mood is starting to improve. Um, I don't really know what I can attribute to. Maybe it was just one of those things where, you know, you just kind of, like, rise, fall, rise, fall. I, I don't know. You know, granted, I did have a lot of stuff going on. You know, my dog Zeus recently passed away. Um, just a lot of depressing stuff with the ship schedule. You know, just the constant workload and things like that just kind of got to me. So, um, it is what it is, but... <clears throat> For whatever reason, I am starting to feel better. And uh, I don't know if this is a reason, but one of the things that I, I tried uh, experimenting with is uh, having more B vitamins. I got some uh, vitamins from the Nex, and uh, they seem to be helping. You know, I, I do feel better, so you know, there is that. Um, I don't know if that's the reason why I feel better, but I do feel better, so it's good. And uh, I do have to thank you guys uh, once again for for all your support in me uh, just dealing with this depression, dealing with uh, the loss of my dog, and things like that. So, uh, big thanks for that. Uh, and I mean that. Um, also, I was talking with, uh, with my mom the other day, and uh, apparently my brother, both my brother and my stepdad got Zeus tattoos. You know, they had like, you know, the, the word Zeus written out on either their arm or you know, like the side and stuff like that. So, uh, I am thinking about getting one. Uh, nothing too substantial yet. And, you know, I have been kind of iffy about getting a tattoo because the whole, you know, tattoos in Japan thing, even though the, uh, the younger crowd doesn't seem to mind so much, it's the older crowd. So I am a little iffy about getting a tattoo, but I really do want to have some sort of tribute to my dog because he was awesome. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so, uh, another big news, and this is, uh, this is really big news, actually. So, um, I'm really, uh, nervous but excited to tell you guys this, because I feel I may be jumping the gun a little bit. So, um, here it goes. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be, very soon, putting in a special request shit to, uh, get out of the Navy early. And, uh, basically save me about a year's time so um, if the chit gets approved um, I'll be processing out of the Navy in May of 2015 as opposed to uh, June of 2016 when I would you know when my contract would be up so the reason behind this is because um, <clears throat> you know my time on uh, my current ship ends in May 2015 and by that time I only have a year and a month left on my contract so I don't plan on re-enlisting I don't plan on extending on board so for me I just I want to put in the chit so that way you know if it does get approved I can get to college sooner and uh, you know start to move on with the next chapter of my life so um, yes I know it's gonna mean that I'm gonna be going back to Ohio uh, that much sooner but um, I do plan on coming back to Japan um, through the college that I plan on going to. Now, um, the college I plan on going to, whether or not they accept me or not, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, jump the gun here again. So, um, but uh, I am planning on going to a college with a uh, student exchange program that will allow me to come back to Japan for a year for like some basic studies and things like that. So. Um, when I go when I go back to college, I plan on getting a degree in uh, management information systems or just information systems. You know, a lot of colleges call it something different. So it's basically like a half business, half computers type degree. So something along those lines. And uh, also be, if I can, minoring in Japanese, just so that way <clears throat> I can still have something marketable Japanese-wise. You know, maybe. Know, learn the language a bit more than just kind of throwing myself in in there you know being out here you know it's just it's it's hard to practice Japanese out here just because um, nobody really speaks Japanese at work you know beyond like a hi or a sumi wa sen you know stuff like that you know and it's hard to get out you know out in town and learn stuff just because you know you pretty much have to hit up the bars and I don't know, bars aren't really my scene 
I just, I don't like it. I just don't like it. So, um, and <laughs> I don't even have much time to go out in the bars anymore just because of the ship schedule and all this other stuff, you know, it's just, you know, even when I do get free time, like now, I'm just so exhausted, you know, it's like almost six and six at night and I'm drinking coffee just to stay awake. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, really want to do something with, uh, with my Japanese, you know, hope to improve it and just kind of have something on paper that says, hey, this guy kind of knows a little something about Japanese for what it's worth. So, um, like I said, I do plan on coming back to Japan, uh, first as an exchange student, and then, uh, hopefully come back again after I graduate, you know, maybe as, like, an English teacher or something, I don't know, figure something out, government job, whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know, I won't be leaving anytime soon. I still have, uh, a year and some change left, but, uh, yeah, so, um, Hopefully the chick gets approved and uh, be able to begin the next chapter of my life. And just to let you guys know who, uh, you know, the people who, I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos who are really interested in joining the Navy or had joined the Navy based on my videos. And I'm really grateful for that. That, that makes me feel so good that you're, you know, doing some sort of commitment to yourself and to your country and things like that. And, you know, if people watch this video and are like, oh, this guy's getting out of the Navy, you know, I thought you said the Navy was awesome, you know, what the fuck? But, um, you know, the Navy is awesome, and I've been in for over four years now. So, for me, I feel like I've done what I wanted to do in the Navy, you know, I've got to, you know, not only see Japan, but live in Japan. I got to see the world, I got to just travel around all sorts of places. I got to get a, a good paying job, you know, I get a fully, you know, not fully furnished, but a, uh, an apartment that's paid for by the Navy, so, you know, I think I'm doing pretty good. I just, I feel like, I feel, you know, just deep down that it's, it's time for the, uh, the next chapter of my life, you know, where I go back to college full time, and, uh, I, I've been doing a lot of talking with, uh, you know the the guys in my division about it and they're you know they're trying to convince me to stay in at least for the extra year so that way I can save up some money maybe work on a couple of college courses on the side and things like that and while that logically makes sense you know get a little bit of extra money coming out of the Navy stuff like that have a couple college courses under your belt so you don't have to spend so much time just rotting away and then like basic English or basic math or some crap like that but I just, honestly, I just, I, I can't handle all the stress, you know, being out here. And, you know, it's just, I, I'm doing this not only to begin a new chapter in my life, but for my own personal health and well-being. So I just, you know, I, you know, I just, I want to go back home. And uh, just kind of get away from all the, the craziness you know, that comes with this job, so, um, yeah, thanks, thanks again for, for all your support and everything, and I really appreciate it, so, um, well, <laughs> with that said, this is a very rambly Andy san sign up for now, thanking you guys one more time for, uh, all your support and, uh, all the messages and everything like that. And I really do mean it. it. It does mean a lot to me, uh, seeing all that stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks again for that. Also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs and other peripheral devices. Uh, but also got to thank you guys for, you know, liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.